my name is Stuart Punkin. I'm an IBM fellow and manager of a group called Magneto Electronics here at the IBM Almaten Research Center. The research uh, in my group mostly involves the uh, discovery of new materials that we can engineer by building them one atomic layer at a time. And essentially we're working on two classes of novel materials, those uh, which relate to the field of what is called spintronics, in which we try to control the passage of currents of electrons whose spins are polarized in the same direction. This involves the formation of atomically engineered magnetic materials. And on the other hand, we're very interested in building what we might call cognitive materials that could support new types of cognitive architectures where we build devices that can innately evolve as we use them. Many years ago, we were exploring materials that could enable us to build new devices that could, to, could read information in a magnetic disk drive uh, more efficiently or more capably than existing technologies. And I invented something which we called a spin valve device, which involves a sandwich of two ultra-thin magnetic layers separated by an ultra-thin metallic layer, for example, copper. And using this concept, we were able to increase the storage capacity of a magnetic disk drive by about a thousandfold after we introduced this uh, spin valve memory reading technology uh, in 1997. So uh, if one looks at magnetic disk drives, then it's a spectacular technology that IBM invented in the mid-1950s. And it has evolved over the last half century in enabling its storage capacity to increase by about a billion fold in that time. Nevertheless, it has some limitations. And in particular, because it involves a rotating mechanical disk uh, above which a device is used to read and write information, this limits the ability of these devices, to, for example, to withstand shock. Moreover, they're pretty slow because it's impossible to rotate a heavy disk very quickly. So what we've come up with, we've devised a new technology which I called racetrack memory, that could enable us essentially to compete with magnetic disk drives in their low cost and to compete with existing memories in terms of performance and reliability. So racetrack memory essentially has the possibility, the potential, to be very fast, very dense, and at the same time highly reliable. And essentially there's no other memory technology that can do that today. In very simple terms, racetrack memory looks like a series of little magnets, like little bar magnets. We can essentially rotate these little bar magnets in a coherent fashion. We maintain the uh, alignment or the distribution of these bar magnets, uh, but we can move them up and down along this racetrack simply by passing a current from a battery. In other words, an un just a, a regular source of electrons where the spin, the spin of the electron only takes two values, it's pointing up or it's pointing down. It's a quantum mechanical property and now uh, we can essentially take a source of unpolarized electrons, you pass them into this magnetic wire, they become polarized so all their spins are oriented in the same direction and this polarized source of electrons basically creates a force on magnetic moments to cause them to rotate and we can do that in a highly coherent fashion along this racetrack moving a series of essentially magnetic regions up and down by passing the current in one direction or the other direction. What this really means is, if you take an existing memory chip, say a flash memory chip, we could increase the storage capacity by a factor of 10 or even by a factor of 100 if we could store enough of these magnetic regions. And in some very recent work, we've demonstrated, we believe we could store about 250 of these magnetic domain walls in one racetrack, and therefore improving the storage capacity of, say, flash memory by about 100-fold. This would be a remarkable improvement, and we do that whilst being perhaps a million times faster than flash memory and being totally reliable. Flash memory has a very important limitation that you can only write flash memory perhaps a hundred or maybe a thousand times before you destroy the cell. In racetrack memory, there is no such problem. Basically, the, the memory elements would retain their memory forever, we believe. 
as compared to a magnetic disk drive, it has no moving parts and it's about a million times faster. Racetrack memory as compared to flash memory, again, has no wear out mechanism, so the memory elements can be written indefinitely and it's about the same cost as flash or perhaps even as much as 10 or 20 times cheaper than flash. Therefore, racetrack memory could enable us to build computing systems that are much more compact than is possible today. We could eliminate nearly all forms of conventional solid state memory and the magnetic disk drive to have one universal memory that would enable us then to build much more smaller, more compact and uh, highly efficient computing devices. Senses that we're going to lead the flow of traffic to the left makes the lane change. It initiated the turn.